Sleeping, bro. When I'm sleeping, bro. LR trunks and my, my boy. Like, look. Let me look at this art. Look at the art. Look at the art. Look at the art, bro. Wow, that is freaking, dude. That is that's insane, man. So, they're another duo. So they've been fitting on the duo category. Obviously, you know, LR Yamcha, the leader of that. Hopefully, this guy is a better duo category leader. That'd be pretty awesome. Yeah, where's super attack? Where is that super attack, bro? Let me actually find the super attack. Uh, definitely need to get our right, hair super attack. Let me look at this beauty, man. Let me look at this. So, okay, here we are. Trunks, there we go. Shooting the gun. Maya shoots the gun. It hits Goku Black. Trunks comes through the glare. Boy, he does some kicks and my bazooka him. So, that's a combo. That's a freaking gunshot freaking bazooka combo. Here's the 18 key super attack. Now, Trunks dashes in. Maya's aiming the gun like he's gonna do anything. Trunks comes in with the freaking slash. Bazooka kick into a building. Okay, and they end off with a little. Oh, that is a clean finisher. I dig that. Okay, I really dig that. Now, not overly flashy, not overly impressive, not overly extravagant. Uh, just clean. Very, very, very clean. Just actually, just basically freaking clean. And I like clean. I'm all about clean, and that is a really clean freaking intro, bro. So wow. Uh, well, super attack. That is um. So, I'm not going to lie, this definitely is a bit unexpected because I'm sure, just like myself, all of you are also expecting Blue Gogeta or Super Saiyan Broly or Full Power Broly, however they want to go about bringing Broly into the game because Broly does have like a couple forms. So, you know, I was expecting LR, Blue Gogeta, and Broly for a dual Doken Festival Christmas celebration, or if not the LR, then at least a TUR, but we're getting... LR, Trunks, and my witch. You know what I'm all for? I love this duo here. I love the combo because the thing about them releasing cards like this, with there being two uh, characters in one, obviously, card, you can run other versions of Trunks with this guy. Although this Trunks is a base form Trunks, and he's probably he's the only relevant base form Trunks in the game, uh, you know, you can also run him with other base form Trunks. Like, you know, for example, another base form Trunks. We don't really have any that's relevant. Um, for example, the uh, tech, uh, Super Saiyan Future Trunks, he's actually base form as an SR, then he Doken Awakens into a Super Saiyan as a TUR. And we also have a STR, Free to Play Trunks, who's a base form, and once you Doken Awaken him, he's still a base form. But, uh, you know, you see, what I'm, you see what I'm saying, right? So, I just love that they're actually releasing cards that have multiple characters in the card art, because obviously it's now going to say Trunks, and mine says just Trunks. So, it just leaves, uh, leaves room for us to run multiple Trunks cards together, to link up together in the future which is pretty awesome so anyways talking about this specific card leader ability beyond time and space category i believe yeah the same category as goku black so okay four key 130 percent stats so he's an lr uh he is sunnable because he does have a 77 cost so sunnable lr but he only provides a hundred and thirty percent why only 130 percent i mean lrs should have higher leader abilities compared to the tr counterparts right well, you know, leader ability counterpart. So, um, I don't know about the 130. I wish it was a bit higher, but whatever. I'll take it, I guess. So, well, it is four key. Okay, I didn't see the four key. All right, so he is providing four key. All right, let me take it back. I'm sorry. Let me take it back, okay? Reduce stats, but more key. Okay, you know what? For an LR, that's amazing. I love it because LRs, they need so much damn key. Okay, I got gotcha. you. All right, don't crucify the boy, man. Uh, secondary leader ability is super STR units are given four key and a 100% stats. So, pretty cool. Uh, I do like that. Passive ability increases this card's attack of 70% for each member on your team with beyond time and space category. What? Hold on. Wait, 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 wait. Ah, so let me let me let me read this right. Increases increase this card's attack by 70% for each on your team. With beyond time and space category gains an oh okay all right I got you all right okay the seventy percent seems to be unconditional all right all right all right I thought that he gets seventy percent for every unit that is part of the category on the team which would be you could put him above three hundred percent okay I got you I don't don't crucify the boy I, I fix myself okay I got me okay. This card's attack increases 70%. Okay, that's unconditional. I, I gotcha, all right? And for each member on 
your team with the beyond time so it's category gains another attack on defense up 10 percent uh, with a max of 70 okay so the attack can cap out at 140 and the defense caps out at 70 if you have a full time and space category team so pretty cool stuff right there uh and if your enemy has a card with future arc category this if your enemy team has a card with future art category, this gains six key and high chance of dodge. What? Is that PvP? Hold on. Whoa! Stop the noise. What is that pass? Okay. And if your enemy team has a card with future art category, this card gains an additional six key and high chance dodge attacks. Okay. They that wording, man, like that kind of make it seem like teams are gonna be fighting each other, which is like a PvP type of thing. I was I'm thrown back. Okay, so I think they're talking about in Dokken Festival Vasa, because obviously right now there's no PvP in the game. So they have to mean in Dokken Festival Vasa uh, bosses or in world tournaments or something along the lines where the other opponent will have uh obviously someone that fits that category now in this particular passive it does translate to on if your enemy team the only other team you'll be fighting is another player's team which is the only thing in the world tournament so there's no way they word this to specify about the world tournament it's irrelevant and why would you use him specifically in the world there's not like he's an aoe He's not an AOE, so you're not using World Trade. Like, like that, that, that throws me off guard. That throws me off guard. And if your enemy team has a card, it, does that not sound like two people are fighting? Does that not sound like another team of six? And if they have one of the future art category units, then you get an additional buff? Like, usually it does say, and if your enemy... But they went above and beyond say your enemy team. Maybe it's a translation issue. I don't know, but per, that, that sounds like PvP to me. I'm just saying. I'm not saying PvP's come, but it is it worded like that. And let me go to let me go to the super attack. Okay. Uh Tokyo Super Attack deals cloth down with a medium chance of stun. Uh 18 key super attack deals main cloth down with a high chance stun. Okay, he's a stunner. Uh Link Set. Uh Courage, Brainy Ass, Cold Judgment. This one feature prayer battle, first battle, and legendary power. So cool stuff right there. Uh, and there's additional note here. I apologize if the past is seem confusing, but that is what I read it as. Uh, if I'm wrong, please do correct me as my Japanese is not good. I gotcha. Uh, does anyone else see that team stuff? Thanks for the correction. He has 70% base attack as well. Okay, there we go. Yeah, so that's what I thought. All right, good stuff. Uh, bro, that team stuff is throwing me off though. Like, usually... Okay, usually with these kind of passes, it says when facing one enemy. It it wouldn't say facing one enemy team. Usually, you know, if a unit has like, you know, facing two or more enemies, it will just say two or more enemies. It wouldn't say two or more enemy team. This passive said on if your enemy team has, I don't know, maybe I'm reading, I don't know, let me let me stop. I don't think it's PvP is never going to come to Okan. Anyway, guys, so that's the information for Trunks. Uh, wow. Uh, pretty good. Uh, high attack, you know, high possibility to do a lot of damage and everything. So, uh, I'm definitely going to be summoning. I'm definitely going to be wailing because I've not wailing LR in a bit of a minute. And your boy's going to go deep inside. So, ju I'm just saying, man. I'm just saying, man. So, uh, once again, uh, very surprised that there's no announcement of anything on terms of Dokken side with Blue Gogeta and Broly. Uh, there's announcements on Buchigedi. Obviously, I, I dropped two videos. Uh, discussing Butchigate, well, not discussing it, but just the super tax and everything of the Blue Gogeta and also and the Super Saiyan Goku and Vegeta. So, those videos are up, so you can definitely go and check those videos out. Uh, any more news dropping, I will definitely be covering it. So, be on the ready for more information, guys. Thank you for watching the video. Like, share, comment down below. Now, subscribe, make things sub to the boy. And I'll see you next time. That was a fake. There. Snap. Snap. There we go. Bye bye. Yeah! I will not let you destroy my world!